What's Joel Martin? A uh, very sort of eclectic sort of character, really. Um, certainly a one-off. I know we're all one-offs in their own little ways, but uh, definitely pretty out there, really. Always been interested in the, you know, the cars and everything in a massive way, in quite a sort of all-consuming sort of way, really. My name is Joel Mutton. I live in Oxford. I'm a big car enthusiast. Um, have been all my life since I was well, since I was practically born. Uh, my first car was a little tiny uh, Corgi Volkswagen Beetle that my parents bought me on a holiday in uh, Malta in 1970. Uh, I've just celebrated my 50th birthday a few weeks ago, on November the 5th. Um, did have quite a large collection of cars until recently, I had about 35, um, but the storage became a bit of an issue, so I've unloaded about 10 of them. Um, I've still got about 25. Um, one of my first loves was the Jensen Interceptor, uh, which I bought when I was um, 14, uh, which I've still got back there, which turned out in later years, when I researched the history, it was actually the 1969 Motor Show car, which was quite cool. Um, the, the actual first car I was ever given was by my father when I was seven years old, which is a Jaguar Mark I, which I've still got, 1959, that's just celebrated its 60th birthday as well. So I then went out and located an 89 model 3.2 Carrera Sport Cabriolet, which I've still got, so I've had it 20 years now. And then bizarrely that car turned out it was supplied by Dick Lovett New, still have the original Dick Lovett. Um, stickers in the window, key fobs and obviously history and everything. So that was quite cool and I've still got that car now, 20 years later, lots of other cars have come. Not so many have gone, but a lot have come, that's the, the problem with me. Um, Mini Cooper S RSP, also a Steve McQueen replica Mini that I had made about 10 years ago, which has been used at Goodwood twice, which is quite cool, considering it just started life as a Mini Studio 2 which is probably one of the rarest iterations of Mini. Uh, it was like a 50 pound Mini and it's now been invited, is it twice? Uh, yeah, twice to Goodwood, which is quite remarkable. There's people with cars that cost them millions of pounds. And my little Mini's been down there twice now, which is quite cool. The red 911 um, really does define that 80s period. And the 80s is probably the period when I was sort of growing up, you know, starting to drive, getting your first girlfriend and all this sort of thing. Um, the sort of, it was the definitive car. Uh, there's, there was no other car really that defined the 80s. All right, there was the Countach on the posters and things, but a real world car that you, you, know, you could actually use on a day-to-day -day basis, really, because that is the wonderful thing about a 911, is they always joke, you know, you can drive it at the weekend, race, and race it at the weekend and drive it during the week, which is pretty true, really. Um, my father recently purchased a new um, Porsche Mecan from Dick Lover. Um, we went to one of your coffee mornings, coffee mornings, and he just happened to stroll across the road. Dad fell in love with the car, bought the car from Young Jordan, salesman over there who works under Joel Garden Lewis, who's also a personal friend. I go with my father on the following, I think it's the following Thursday, to take my mother over to let her have a look, even though he'd already bought it. Um, as I walked in the showroom, there was this beautiful orange 911 there that you had to practically fall over to get into the foyer. Now, let's remember, I haven't bought a Porsche now for 20 years because I'm very old school, very of the, of the mentality, if it's not air-cooled, it ain't a proper 911. Can't keep my eyes off the damn thing. 25,000 miler, the only orange Carrera 4S ever made in that colour. We left, my mum took the new car, I rang Jordan back, I said I've got to have that car and um, I go and collect it today, which is quite exciting, uh, that was about a month ago when I purchased it, um, it's got the Fuchs alloy wheels on it from the, um, the Sport Classic range, so it's all quite exciting really. Yeah, it's probably a good job really there are only a few, or if not only one, Joel Mutton. Um, I don't think there's room for too many more really. Cheers Dick Lovett, see you in a while.